Assalamu alaikum my dear students how are you i hope you are all well by the grace of almighty welcome to niebs home school i am ashish bishwas an assistant teacher of mathematics in national ideal english version school morning shift today i am going to take a math class for the student of class 5 so my dear student let us start our class today is our lecture number 4 of annual term my dear student today is our lecture number 4 of annual term and today's sw number will be Four. Here, my dear student, we write term annual. Okay. And S W number four. Our today's topic is exercise six B. This is uh, the chapter whose name is fraction. Okay. And from exercise six B, we shall solve five, seven, and eight as your C W. And question number six will be your S W. I repeat, my dear student, only word problem question number six will be your S W. Okay. So, my dear student, let us start our class. Here you notice five number calculate. That means we do division of fraction. So, six number, eight number, fifteen number, sixteen number. There are lot of man in maths in question number five. But here we solve only. Four problem: six, eight, fifteen, and sixteen. But you need to practice at home all the problems. That means from one to fifteen, you must solve at your home. If you faces any type of problem, then you can make a phone call to me. My phone number is given on the board. So, my dear student, let us start to solve. Here, calculate two by nine divided by nine by four. Before starting to division of two fraction, at first you need to know what do you mean by uh, what do you mean by uh, what do you mean by division of one fraction by another fraction. Division of one fraction by another fraction means multiplication of uh, first fraction with the reverse of the second fraction. I repeat. Division of one fraction by another fraction means multiplication of the first fraction with the reverse of the second fraction. Okay, so here we solve six number first. Okay, six number is two by nine divided by nine by four. That means first fraction is divided by second fraction. So we know division of first fraction by second fraction means multiplication of First fraction multiplication with the reverse. That means its numerator will be denominator and denominator will be numerator. That means four will be numerator and nine will be denominator. So now here you notice multiplication sign. That means here we write two multiply four and nine multiply nine. Now my dear student, we notice if there are any common divisor between numerator and denominator. Here two nine. Two nine, so we can uh, divide both number by the same number. Four nine, four nine, so we cannot divide uh, four and nine by the same number. So here you notice as a numerator two and four left, and as a denominator nine and nine left. So we multiply four with two, and we get four two is eight. Nine with nine, and we get eighty one. Nine nine is. Eighty-one, my dear student. When we cannot cut numerator and denominator, then we multiply numerator with numerator and denominator with denominator. I hope you have understood, and this is the answer of question number six. Here you write answer eight by eighty-one. Then we shall solve question number eight. Okay, here question number eight is two by five. Divided by eight by nine. That means at first we do multiplication. This division sign will be multiply sign. After that, second fraction will be reversed. That means numerator will be denominator and denominator will be numerator. Nine by eight. Now we take a fractional sign. After that we multiply two with nine and five with eight. Now notice. Two and five. There is no common divisor which divide both number two and eight. Yes, there is a common divisor which divide both number which is two. If we divide two by two, then we get one. Two ones are two. If we divide this eight by two, then we get four. 
4 2 are 8. Now here you notice here 5 and 4 left, here 1 and 9 left. So we can divide any common number by both 9 and 5. That means we cannot divide uh, 9 and 5 with the same number. Similarly, we can divide 9 and 4 by the same number. So here 1 and 9 left and here 5 and 4 left. So we multiply 1 with 9 and we get 9 on the 9 and 5 with 4 then we get 5 4 are 20. So 9 by 20 is the required answer. Okay. I hope you have understood. So this is question number 6 and 8. Next we shall solve question number 15 and 16. Okay, so 15 number question. My dear student, notice 2 into 1 by 4 divided by 2 into 1 by 4. My dear student, before starting to solve this math, at first we give some example. Okay, 2 divided by 2, what will be the answer? The answer will be 1. 100 divided by 100, what will be the answer? The answer will be 1. 1000 divided by 1000. What will be the answer? Answer will be 1. Half 1 by 2 divided by 1 by 2. What will be the answer? The answer will be 1. So my dear student, please notice 2 into 1 by 4 divided by 2 into 1 by 4. The both numbers are same. So if we divide this number by this number, then we get 1. Okay, this is the answer. You can solve this math directly. Okay, you can solve this math by using the previous method also. So, here at first we write the question on 2 into 1 by 4 divided by 2 into 1 by 4. So, first of all we convert this uh, in, uh, mixed fraction into improper fraction 4 to the 8 plus 1 9, 9 by 4 divided by 4 to the 8 plus 1 that means 9 by 4. Four. Then we write first fraction after that we write this division as multiplication and the second fraction will be reverse. That means numerator will be denominator and denominator will be numerator. So now notice 9 multiply 4, 4 multiply 9. So we cut 9 by 9, 9 on the 9, 9 on the 9, 4 on the 4, 4 on the 4. So as a numerator there is 1 with 1 that means 1 on the 1 and 1 on the 1. So, 1 is the answer. So, both answer are is correct. So, if you can solve this way then it is okay. If you can so use this way then it is also okay. So, 15 number done. Next we shall solve question number 16. Okay, 16 number question please notice 11 divided by 2 into 1 by 4. So now we know that every number has a denominator which is 1. Okay, now we write 11 by 1 divided by, we convert this mixed fraction into improper fraction. That means 2 is whole number, 4 is denominator as 1 is numerator. So 2 4 are 8, 8 plus 1 that means 9, 9 by 4. Now 11 by 1 then this division sign will be multiplication sign. After that, the second fraction will be reverse. That means it numerator will be denominator, that means 9, and denominator will be numerator, that means 4. Now, notice 11 and 9, there is no common divisor which divides both number. 4 and 9, there is no common divisor which divides both number. So, here you notice 11 is multiplied with 4 and 1 is multiplied with 9. So, 11 4 are 44 and 9 on the 9. Now my dear student, we divide this 44 by 9. Okay, 44 in 44, 9 goes in 4 times. 9 4 are 36. Now we do subtraction, that means 14, if we subtract for, uh, 6 from 14, then we get 8. So here 4 is the whole number and 8 is the numerator and 9 is the denominator and this is the answer okay i hope you have understood question number 16 okay so 15 16 done i have already told you that a lot of problems 
are present in question number 5. You need to practice all the problems at home. If you can practice, then you can understand, you can do any type of fractional division, right? Okay, my dear student, I know you are very smart learner, so you can easily understand and you can easily solve from question number 1 to 16. Okay, now we shall solve two word problem, word problem number 7 and word problem number 8. Okay, before starting to solve this math, at first you read the question. Okay, so read the question first. Seven number. A wall of 9 by 7 meter square can be covered by 3 by 4 deciliter. My dear student, DL means deciliter. Okay, uh, deciliter of paint. How many meter square can you paint with one deciliter? That means my dear student, it is so easy math. A wall of 9 by 7 meter square can be covered by 3 by 4 deciliter of paint. How many meter square can you paint with one deciliter? That means we need to find out uh, how many meter square can you paint with one deciliter. So we can write this as 3 by 4 deciliter of paint can cover 9 by 7 meter square. Therefore, one deciliter of paint can cover how many meter square that means we do division and we get the answer okay seven number right three by four deciliter of paint can cover can cover nine by seven meter square of wall okay then therefore one deciliter of paint can cover okay we divide this 9 by 7 by this 3 by 4 my dear students some of you write this 3 by 4 divided by this 9 by 7 it is totally wrong okay you divide this 9 by 7 by this 3 by 4 okay so be careful when you write this okay okay now we do division as our previous uh, problems just like 9 by 7 this division sign will be multiplication sign and this sign will be reverse that means 4 by 3 now 9 multiply 4 and 7 multiply 3 so my dear student notice any number which divides numerator and denominator both so notice 9 and 3 both numbers divide by 3 so if we divide this 9 by 3 then we get 3 3 is a 9 if we did divide this 3 by 3 then we get 1 okay so here 3 4 left here 7 and 1 left so there is no common divisor which divides both 3 4 or 7 1 so we multiply 3 with 4 and 7 with 1 so 3 4 is a 12 and 7 on the 7 now we divide we divide 12 by 7 in 12 7 goes in one times 7 on the 7 now we subtract and we get 5 so 1 5 by 7 meter square of wall and this is the answer i hope you have understood and this is the answer as our solution is done you must write answer okay so my dear student question number 7 done next we shall solve question number 8 question number 8 before starting to solve this math at first we read the question a metal pipe of 5 meter weights 2 into 6 by 7 kg how long do you cut off if you need 1 kg of the pipe that means 2 into 6 by 7 kg is the weight of 5 meter metal pipe. So, 1 kg is the weight of how many meter of pipe? We need to find out that. So, it is so easy just like the just like uh, the question number 7. Okay. Eight number. First of all, we write here. We write the mixed fraction here 2 into 6 by 7 kg so first of all we convert this mixed fraction into improper fraction 
2 7s are 14, 14 plus 6, that means 20 by 7 kg. Okay. Now we write 20 by 7 kg is the weight of weight of 5 meter of metal pipe. Okay. Then 1 kg is the weight of 1 kg is the weight of we divide 5 by this 20 by 7 meter of meter pipe metal pipe now we do the division of the same procedure that means we write 5 by 1 this division sign will be multiplication sign and this 7 will be here after that we write this 20 here okay now please notice uh, we divide this 5 and 20 both that means we write first 5 multiply 7 and 1 multiply 20 so notice 5 and 20 both number is divided by the number 5 so we divide 5 on the 5 and 5 for the 20 so now 7 on the 7 and 4 on the 4 now we divide 7 by 4 then 4 on the 4 if we subtract then we get 3 so 1 into 3 by 4 meter of metal pipe and this is the answer 1 into 3 by 4 meter right I hope you have understood now my dear student please notice the board this is your SW number Four. This is your SW number 4. Only one odd problem will be your SW. Now we read the question 6 number question. If you cut 6 into 2 by 5 meter of string into 4 by 5 meter section, how many pieces it will be? That means my dear student, please notice the board. This is a string this is a string okay okay its total length is total length is 6 into 2 by 5 meter okay we cut 4 by 5 meter each section that means this section length is 4 by sorry 4 by 5 meter okay so the total length of the string is 6 into 2 by 5 meter and we cut each pieces whose length is 4 by 5 meter so how many pieces will be fine okay how many pieces will be fine so my dear student we divide this number 6 into 2 by 5 by 4 by 5 then we get the answer that means 6 into 2 by 5 divided by 4 by 5. If you divide, then you can easily get the answer. I hope you have understood. So, my dear student, you must do your assign SW in SW copy submitted regularly in our school campus in every Saturday within 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. So, my dear student, I hope you have understood my today's lecture. Keep practicing at home. Abide by your parents. See you soon. Till then, Assalamu